Copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast. He has some sort of a problem. He, he really is falling off the pace big time. Yeah, he's, he's really slow. He must have a, he's had an engine problem or he's run over something to cut a tire. He definitely has a problem. Elio Castro Nevis started third last year here at Chicagoland and finished in third position. His best finish in an IROC race was at Indianapolis last year when he started third and finished second and now we have a spin sliding through the grass coming out of turn number four Sam Hornish so a couple of the open wheel drivers from the IRL IndyCar series are having problems as Castro Nevis has pitted his car and Hornish is trying to either drive to the pits or get out of the grass well, actually it turned out great for Castro Nevis he saw it happening he stayed out on the racetrack so he's gonna catch the yellow and not lose any laps back in 10th position when this incident occurred. Looks like to me he got off on the racetrack, just got off the racetrack just a little bit, touched the apron, and then when it did, it unloaded the car, took the wedge out of the car, and around it came. He couldn't control it at that, after that point. Just down on that white line. Now, I think those guys used to be able to run on that white line just a little bit before, but you know this reduced downforce, Jeff, do you really think that's gonna make that big of a difference on these cars? I wouldn't think it would make that big of a difference. Uh, you know, it depends on what your car's doing. If your car's already loose and you get down there, and, and, and most likely these cars are, are tend to be loose on the start of the run. Overland Speedway, race three, true value, IROC 27. Nothing going on up front. Mike Bliss with almost a three second lead. You gotta put Quick glimpse of uh, Ryan Newman in white running second. Here is third and fourth. Bush and Martin have been trading paint and uh, passing each other the last couple of laps. Right now, Martin back in fourth. Yeah, Mark caught him and drove by him. He's going to drive up beside him again here, I think. And then Kurt was able to get get right to his rear bumper and actually push him getting in the corner. And it wouldn't didn't allow Mark to stay on the bottom, so Kurt drove back by him. Now Mark wants to do the same. This could be the race for the championship. With Indy coming up, a place that's hard to pass, those two guys are going to probably have to start in the back. This race could be the championship. So, mm -hmm. you know, they want to finish in front of the other one. There's no doubt about it. Mark Martin in the rose-colored car is a four-time IROC champ. He has won more championships than any other driver in the International Race of Champions. And he won three straight titles in 96, 97, and 98. What tends to happen when you're, when you're running where... Uh, where Kurt Busch is. He's trying to get by Ryan Newman. The native of that is when he gets to Ryan Newman, he's going to lose the front end of his car. His car is going to quit turning. If Mark's far enough behind, he can get a run and get beside Kurt Busch. And that's what Mark's hoping for. He's hoping that, that Kurt will lose the front end and, and pick up a push and he can drive up to him and, and get door to door with him and then try to beat him back around. Because what Bush is thinking about right now, if I get one more spot, more points, something that you were just saying a second ago. So there he is, right, right there. there he goes. Yep. Try to try to hold that position. And Mark's going to try to go with him. He's going to try to beat, beat, you know, push Ryan down the back straightaway to get him in front of Kurt. To, so hopefully he can put a Kurt as well. Hmm. Less strategy than he needs to play. You know, he needs to race against Kurt, not with him. He needs to push the other guy. Good onboard camera activity here. Oh, that's tight right there. Oh. Can you really hear them working the throttle also right in the middle of the turn. Heads up high. Here comes Harley Mahoto's contact between Mark and Ryan. Here comes Harvick down low to make it three wide off the corner down the back stretch. Whoa! Look, who's gonna get? Who's, who's gonna get? Ryan Harvick's gonna get. He's the older of the two, the three. Uh, the wiser too, huh? <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Kurt really drove it in there deep trying to clear, clear Harvick coming off the floor. Looks like he did it. Well, he didn't quite do it. Less than two laps to go. 65 completed Chicagoland. Mike Bliss way out front. Ryan Newman's up there in white. And then look at this five-car battle. First car really looks like it goes to the middle of the corner very well. He can he can get in that gas and make a make a nice move. He's cleared hard. That's that's put a car between him and Mark Martin. That's exactly what he was hoping to happen. As we're watching this battle, both Hornish and Sharp, replacement for Geophonia right now, are falling back simply because I don't think they 
probably liking their race car right now. There's the white flag. One more lap to go around Chicagoland Speedway for Mike Bliss, and he'll have his first IROC victory and become the 42nd driver to take the checkered flag. Here's the interval between first and second. There's Newman. In comes Bush. Harvick, Martin, Biffle, and then Johnson is a little bit behind Biffle. Looks like they're going to fall into single file formation. Meanwhile, off of corner number four, here is Mike Bliss winning his first IROC race at Chicagoland Speedway in 2003. Second is Newman, then Bush, Harvick, Martin, Biffle, Johnson, Hornish, and Sharp. Danny Lasoski will finish in 10th position when he comes around, and then two cars, of course, dropped out of the race, Castro Nevis and Kinzer. But Mike Bliss from Milwaukee, Oregon, has won his first IROC race and becomes the 42nd different winner to do so. We will talk to him when we come back to Chicagoland Speedway. The average speed of the race, by the way, with a caution, 137.384. Back in a moment. This copyrighted telecast may not be reproduced, retransmitted, or used in any form without the authorized written consent of NASCAR Broadcasting. NASCAR would like to thank all of our loyal fans for your continued support, and we hope you enjoyed today's broadcast.